All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, <laughs> Chris has got a new piece of kit. Honestly, next time you come in the shop, shop ask him to show you his tripod. Tell you what, <laughs> that is a very, very splendid tripod. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it's so small that I have to <laughs> sit on my knees to do this tasting note. So, <laughs> so this isn't me scrabbling around the floor, it's just me having to um, accommodate our small <laughs> tripod. The um, wine we're tasting today is from Burgundy and actually last week we did this blind, well Chris knew what it was, but I did it blind with Jack, I don't know if it's met Jack, but he's Andy member stuff. So, um, and it was really, I was, I was sort of debating between Northern Italian and then something in it, I think it was quite the savoury sort of character, really made me think um, it was a burgundy, but I thought, where is it, what is it in burgundy? It's not something I'm familiar with, but it's definitely burgundy, but I can't put my finger on what it is. And the reason was it's because it's an aligotte. It is made from a family, a new family, and actually, Contrary to all the other labels in Burgundy, which are all fairly similar looking at them, I'm going to just bring this close to the camera and sorry for having to see me um, approach on my knees and getting so close to the camera. But look, <laughs> I like the label. And apparently there is a story that's based on the Red Riding Hood. I'm not sure what relevance it has to the winery. Maybe it's just a story that he likes. He's quite young, maybe it's just, you know, a fond childhood memory. Um, so all is left is three wines, um, and this is the first one, and it has the wolf, and it has another one with the grandma, and it has another one with Red Riding Hood. So a nice little theme to his, nice and creative, you know, it's thinking outside the box a bit, which we like. Okay, so on the nose, it's just really loads going on. So the first time I smelt it, and I, I don't know whether this is going to put people off, but it was really sweet cordy. But it also has quite a lot of honey and tropical leaf fruits on the nose, really lovely. Now, it's really good. We taste this blind, like I said last week, and I love tasting wine blind because you're just totally open. You don't expect anything. You just think, oh, it's this is what it is. So we all was three of us at them, we're all saying, gosh, it's like this, oh, it's like this, it's all, and we all agreed with each other. But there was so much going on. It was a real, um, and again, it's showing that today. We all, there's sort of citrusy characters that you'd sort of associate with, say, with a lot of burgundy and shabbly and that sort of thing. Um, so it had those sort of la lemony, citrusy, zippy characters, a bit of stoniness, quite savoury and a bit of creaminess. So there's all sorts going on. It's really interesting wine. It's definitely, definitely one to try and it's in at the end of the week. So uh, Friday, get some in your fridge. Cheers. <laughs>